If you did, I did not notice it. Okay. So this is called the Brook method of multiplying. So uh, we'll do. We'll show you the Anna method next time. So we have four times square root of twelve times three square root of twenty. All right. What I'd like to do first, guys, whenever you have a radical that you can simplify. We have to simplify the radicals. That's why it becomes so important for us to get really, really good at simplifying our radicals. So we have square root of 12. And let's do the square root of 20. Now, guys, last time, remember, I wrote down all the square numbers. Um, so hopefully, you guys can at least remember the ones up to, up to 25. So let's see. Can I rewrite the square root of 12 as a product of a square number? Square root of 4 times square root of 3. Very good which then can be broken down into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2. Right? What about 20? Can we break that down into Five a square number? 5 and 4. Very good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the square roots of my, nu my number with my simplified version. So I have 4 times 2 square root of 3 times 3 times 2 square root of 5. Okay, Then we can multiply these through. All right. So remember, you cannot multiply a number inside the radical. So therefore, I'm going to have 8 square root of 3 times 6 square root of 5. Okay. Then what we could do is now multiply across. So I get 24 square root of 15. And that's your final answer. 8 times 6. 48. 48. Yes. Very good. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, I'm a now, there is another way you guys could do this. All right? You could simply just multiply 4 times 3 to give you 12. And then you could possibly look at 12 times 20. Right? And then that's going to give you 240. Then, but then you got to go and simplify 240. Right? And sometimes with doing square numbers, that can be more work than it, than it's needed, right? So you could just multiply across and then try to simplify this, but I don't want to try to simplify the square root of 240. You can do it, but I would much rather just simplify them first and then multiply. All right? But your final answer is going to be 48 times square root of 15.